Welcome to Cool Illustrator. In this tutorial we're going to have a look at some quick and dirty 3D shapes using vector tools. Right, this is Illustrator. CS3 but what we're going to do today we can do with anything. Just set ourselves up with a nice black outline and no fill to start and we will start with our rectangle tool. We'll draw a square, we're holding down shift to keep it as a square Okay, before we move on, we'll come up here, go to View, and go Smart Guides or Control U. What that means is it shows you, whenever you click on here, it shows you what you're touching, but it means if we drag something, it snaps to the next point. So we've now doubled, doubled our square, and we're going to click on the Shear tool, Shear it. Doesn't really matter how, how much, I'm, um, yeah. This is quick and dirty, I'm not doing this by uh, by numbers. Back to the shear tool on the other one, and we'll drag this down here and match it. Approximately there, cool. We'll draw ourselves another square, and this time we'll rotate this 90 degrees, again holding down shift. Move that over there. Click on the corner and we'll snap it to this point over here. Okay drag this out using shift so there's our box the top now before we manipulate this come up here to transform and go reset bounding box that gives us a square bounding box top and bottom again drag this up here now if we hold down alt on the PC we bring the top down with the bottom at the same time okay so we'll do it that far to see where we are, drag it back down, snap it with that point, and there we go, we've just made a cube. It's quite simple. Three easy steps. Okay, we'll colour each one of these, give it a gradient. Um, here in Illustrator, the standard colours, we've actually got a whole lot of greens here, so let's just make this green. Drag a couple of greens in there. Um, Easy, the easiest way to do the uh, the next two is click on these, okay, and yeah, just drag the same same fill. There we go, and then we'll just alter those fills. Make that one slightly lighter green, slightly lighter again. Right. Yeah, I might change the angle of that. Is that better? Yeah, we'll do the top. Again, lighter again, because this is where our light source is. A couple of lighter greens. And again, we'll just change our change the angle. 90 degrees. Right. Select them all, and we'll just get rid of those outlines. And voila. There we go. A cube. Group it. Okay, we'll resize that. And just put it to one side. Get it up out of our way. Now we'll do something else, something a bit different. We'll get our rectangle tool again. Okay, we don't want it to be green. We'll just change this back to how we were. Draw a long thin rectangle. We'll get our add anchor point tool here. Round about the middle at the top, add an anchor point. Go to the delete anchor point and we'll just lose these two here to make ourselves a triangle. This triangle will be the basis of, of all the rest of what we do with this particular object. Okay, we'll make it approximately the size that we want. Yep, that's cool. Next thing we need to do is we need to make a whole lot more of these things. So I'll drag it over, duplicate it, but these ones want to be a lot, a lot thinner. Okay. Um, quickest and easiest way to, to make many of these okay, I'm just make it a little bit longer All right, we'll line them up just for now you see they don't quite line up at the top that's be probably because I didn't get my um, added point right in the very center of the of the top but that's okay if we really wanted to line these up we zoom in and just line them there. 
Okay, this is not necessary at this stage, but really it's just a simple, simple exercise. Now we'll zoom back out. We actually want quite a few of these, so I'll just drag it to the side and duplicate it, and then do a few more. Okay. Um, how many have we got? Maybe one more. Okay. We we'll select all of them and line them, align them again. Okay, so basically I've got all of my triangles here. I'll put it back into the middle there. I'm just using the snap now to line it up, but that's okay. These are our the elements of our cone. Now with my white arrow selected, I can select the individual points. I can drag that off to one side. Notice how the top point stays exactly where it is. Drag that one further over there. You can experiment with this and do what you like. Um, this is just sort of how I'm doing it here, but you can see what I'm doing. Just put this one about there. Get the last one. That one over there. Oh, and this is the last one, sorry. There we go. Make sure it's over there. Okay, we've got six of those. They're all about approximately where we need them to be. What I do now is each one of these, I'm, I really want them to be in order from left to right. Okay, so what I do there, I've selected the next one. Go to Arrange, bring to front, and you can see what the shortcut is there. So I click on the next, do the shortcut, bring it to the front. Next one, bring it to the front. Next one, bring it to the front, and that one, bring it to the front. So for order from left to right, they go from the back to the front. Now, we colour them. We want this one to be a green, and that one probably to be the same sort of green. That one there, we'll make it a dark green. I'll do that dark green here. That one's back to green. Actually, I think what we may do... We'll start with the green there. Yeah, we'll just have the one... Do that one back to the green. And then this one here is our highlight. So that's quite a light green. Again, you can experiment. You can try these. Play with these. I'll lighten this green a little bit. Okay. Not too much, but yeah. Okay, now I'm going to select all of these, but not the large triangle in the back. Get rid of the outlines. Okay, and under Object, Blend, Make. Here we go. You can see what I've done. Alright, select this. Send it to the back. Okay. Now select them all, which means I've now got the triangle on the front, and I'll go to Clipping Mask and Make, and I have made a clipping mask, so I've now got that perfect cone shape. Last thing to do is we draw a an ellipse on the bottom, line that up so that it's about there. Actually, I'll make it a bit bigger. Yep, that's cool. Now if I click on my eyedropper and select one of those, or no, there we go, that one. And there's the colour. You can see I've now made a cone and a cube. And I've done it in double quick time, just using vector tools in Illustrator 3D. How's that? If you're interested in Photoshop and in learning more about Photoshop, uh, I've written a book and just for the moment I'm giving it away free. Now this is quite an amazing book. It's called 25 Essential Photoshop Moves. Um, it's 176 pages, full colour, and it is available for free. If you want it, you can just go to www.freephotoshopbook.com For more tutorials or information on computer graphics, visit either of these sites.